The demand for food banks in our city is skyrocketing. The Daily Bread is out with its annual Who's Hungry report, and this year the organization says more and more people are facing food insecurity in Toronto. Faiza Amin is tracking this story for us today. Faiza, what can you tell us about this report? Melissa, the authors of the report say this is a call to action from a city in crisis. I'm joined now by one of the authors of the reports, which is the Daily Bread Food Bank, CEO Neil Hetherington here. Let's talk first about this concerning rise in food bank users. You know, last year there were one in ten Torontonians who made use of a food bank, and that is an abomination, and that is a policy failure on all three levels of the government. It doesn't matter which party uh, that uh, that you are, are talking about. There are policy failures, and and food charity is here picking up the pieces, and we're saying enough is enough. Um, here are our policy recommendations. It's up to you guys, you elected officials, you policy makers, you power holders. It's up to you to implement those changes so that fewer Torontonians have to make use of the Daily Bread Food Bank. Let's talk about who is using the food bank here. Uh, age group 19 to 44, the fastest growing group. That's pretty concerning. This is when you're starting life, when you're starting your career. What can you tell us about who uh, your clients are? Well, we know that 59% of our clients this year um, have a post-secondary education. So th that's it's that group that you just spoke of. They've done everything right. You know, they've gone and uh, they, they got an education, they're, they got a job, they're working hard. The fastest growing rate is that demographic and they are working. So they're doing what they should be doing, yet their incomes do not allow them to thrive and community, it means that they are having to rely on food charity. 55% of food bank users say uh, they missed a meal to pay for something like rent or medication. We heard from someone this morning, Sue Ellen, who talked about not having to uh, enough money to pay for her medication. Is this the new reality for people living here in Toronto? Well, sadly, it is the new reality. Um, and one third are, are children, just under one third are, uh, are, are children. And so what we are saying is through our public policy that that's acceptable in some, some twisted fashion. Um, and, and so instead, Daily Bread has said, no, here's, a, here's an alternative policy. Here's an opportunity to build decent, affordable housing. Here's a way that you can reduce precarious employment. Somebody on disability ought not to be legislated to be in poverty. If you're on disability, you receive about $1,300 a month. The poverty line is $2,300. They are required to get uh, food from friends and family and charity, and that's wrong. You know, I've been here a couple of times speaking with you here, unfortunately, about the increase of food bank clients and the need for more supports as more people are struggling. Since you've been releasing these reports, and in especially the last few years, this is when we've been seeing a rise of food bank clients here. What have governments done? This is a call to all levels of government. There is a call to action in this report, but what have governments done to alleviate the situation? Well, at the city level, they made a promise last week that there'd be 60,000 homes uh, developed. Uh, at the provincial level, 1.5 million homes by 2031. And at the federal level, they've introduced the Canada Disability Benefit. But you know, the thing is, they've made those announcements and they haven't funded any of them. None of them have a funding source. And so we need to make sure that they are fully funded so that we can start to see uh, a reduction in uh, in usage. Okay, Neil Hetherington, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us on this very important issue. I do want to show you around uh, for the dozens of uh, volunteers who are here this morning at the Daily Bread Food Bank uh, lending a helping hand. And to you at home, the message is share the story, share this report, write to officials and advocate for change. We'll have more on this tonight at City News at 5 and 6.